Let's open maybe 50 Black Lion chests. We are also going to use a Black Lion chest key just to give you an idea of what's happening here. And three guaranteed wardrobe unlocks uh, inside of the Reaper's Vision chest. Halloween is happening right now. It started today, October 5th, 2021. It will go until November 9th, 2021. That's five weeks of Halloween. This first week also has a bonus event with extra magic find, 50% extra experience from all sources, and that carries over to other things. So you need to log in if you want to level a character right now or to do Halloween. And I believe the Icebrook Saga is going to be coming soon, and the next Elite um, elite Spec Beta, that's coming soon. Maybe World vs. World Alliances is going to happen. Lots of stuff happening in Guild Wars 2, Into Dragons, February 2022. I don't remember the last time we opened Black Lion Chest, but here we are. And it's, it's about time. It's about time. So... Inside of there, we have glorified trick-or-treat bags with items worth gold. Hopefully, I get a lot of them. A lot of the five gold ones, yes. Um, but my goal, um, maybe we get some of the rare stuff? Who knows? Who knows? We'll open all that stuff after we open the chest. But my goal today is to get this right here. The champ... Wait, what's it even called? I, I keep forgetting. The Hound of Balthazar Warclaw skin. All right, if you don't have a Warclaw in World vs. World, meh. But this, I just unlocked a Warclaw skin because I was like, I don't have any Warclaw skins. This is 1,600 gems on the gem store. Uh, looks amazing. If you have, like, thousands of people using this, it'll be great. I think it looks fantastic. Um, but that's what I want. Also inside of there is the Seven Reapers helmet. And the Seven Reapers boots. I believe there's almost a full set of this or something like that at this point. Um, I don't have those. So this will be a great time to try to get some of that. I also don't have a lot of the gargoyle basic skins. And they have the Darkwing sword skins inside of there. The Darkwing sword the weapon collection looks fantastic. The gargoyle stuff, uh, it sort of grows on me a little bit during Halloween season and then disappears. But... They have the Glyph of the Volatile, Glyph of Crucible. This is Volatile Magic, and the Crucible is getting lower level crafting materials, I believe. I could be wrong. But the home nodes are pretty fantastic. Ghost, Mithril, Elderwood, and Flaxseed. You're always going to need those. Um, the Ghost Peppers and Flaxseed tend to hold their price, so not too bad. Sometimes that price does get up there to that three silver range, that kind of stuff. And, of course, the permanent contracts. Uh, other than that, outside of in the common area, statuettes, always welcome. Um, primers, and then guaranteed wardrobe unlocks, armor unlocks, weapon unlocks, yes. Um, but anyhow, again, I just want to say that I have three guaranteed wardrobe unlocks to start. This is from a package that I got back in September. And then I'm going to start with the golden black lion chest key because that was also part of the package. So without further ado, let's open some black lion chests. Yes, with a full set of hellfire armor. Absolutely. All right. So I got a gargoyle focus skin somewhere. And now some of the stuff's going to end up down here to start with. That's just the way my bags are. I apologize, but I promise I'll pull it all out. And of course, Halloween is uh, messing up the things there so in the opening that there's the first chest with with the uh golden key let's let's go so we're just looking for that stuff we got a primer there but we got that skin already which is awesome another primer oh yeah there's some stuff in my shared inventory slots another primer i i love it uh these exchange tickets are fantastic so if some stuff ends up up there i apologize that is another skin another weapon skin got a ticket there transmutation charges not something i want to get i gotta remember the gold stuff down there scraps i'll take another primer another primer what we get here what we get here we got a dark wing it's two weapon skins 
three weapon skins so far. But those uncommon items, that's what I want. Commemorative tokens worth of gold. Another primer. I love it. I love it so far. I love it. All right, we're down to our last 30 keys, but technically 28 chests here. Could grab another chest. I need another chest. It's out there. Forgot that I had the golden key and I needed 51 chests, technically. Maybe it'll just open 50. Not good. Where is my uncommon items? Complain about it. Man, they never give these uncommon items. It's really slowed down on the, the front here for anything good. Well, okay, then then I gotta give me that. So complaining did work, just not the way I wanted it to. They never give me the super rare items. Maybe that's what you have to say. 15 chest. There's the seven reaper's helm, please. Give me the mount. Give me the mount. Only 12. Only 12 more. Ooh, we got a, a gargoyle staff skin, it looks like. Another skin. We're down to our final chest. Oh, man. Will it happen? There it is. Hound of Balthazar. We don't have all the uncommon items, so I will open these last chests. See if we can get those greaves. And this will be our last ch chest. I will save this black line key some other time. Who? Cutting it off at the pass there. So we'll keep this black line key. Let me grab some stuff from below here. Um, just to make sure I get the count right for you people who want to know immediately how much stuff I got. Um, so, we got five Elonian landscape die kits, eight heavy crafting bags, four utility primers, two metabolic primers, two Tyrian exchange vouchers, one gargoyle shield skin, five teleports to friend, three upgrade extractors, seven black lion miniature claim tickets, 30 transmutation charges, eight black lion ticket scraps, a dark wing hammer skin, six char die kits, seven revive orbs, five Norn die kits, a black lion lockbreaker kit, which I like, they have keys, uh, guaranteed armor unlock, and a, the seven reapers helm skin, a gargoyle staff skin, and a hound of Balthazar warclaw skin. Amazing. Um, no unlocks besides an armor unlock, which is interesting, but boy, did we get some skins. Like, I will have to do a giveaway this month. Uh, there's nothing I can really do with that, right? It's already stored. Gonna make me destroy it? Okay, we'll have to do that later. Um, use! Buy to that. Um, Darkwing, is that it? The skins. It's been a while since I got a flurry of skins like this, so it's nice. 30 transmutation charges, definitely don't need those. Uh, miniature tickets. Waypoint to friend, I have nearly two stacks of them. Upgrade extractors, always welcome. Ticket scraps right there, so we got some dies. Some revive orbs, we probably had more revive orbs there. Lockbreaker, bring that down. This will all go in my bank. Heavy crafting bags. There you go. I'm really impressed with the amount of utility primers and metabolic primers we pulled in a row there. That was really nice. Um, I've been needing those a lot. A lot. We ended up with 56 statuettes. Did I did I go over these? I probably did or didn't. I don't know. We've been going eight hours almost, so uh, give me some credit here. Lots of die kits. I uh, guess I can open all of that. A mystic coin? Take it. Bunch of tier six mats, bunch of tier five mats. Um, all right. Those statuettes over there with this key, and that I will destroy later. Let's open all the dies. Oh, uh, they're gonna happen at the bottom first. My apologies. The way that bag works is weird. Enameled a perseverance die, enameled an anamesis die. I don't know if there's a 
Mesa die, and that is sort of it. Winter's ice die might be worth something. Midnight sky, oil slick, uh, warmth. Um, don't know how much those are going to be worth, if anything. So the rest of the dies are going to be hit and miss. I'll probably check those out. Hold on, we had this hidden treasure thing that popped up. Yeah. <sighs> Let's open Evan Nash Blades Trick or Treating Bags. No, you know what? Let's do that last because it's just going to give me a bunch of stuff that I'm not going to be able to go over. Um, I'm just in it for the money, okay? Oh, I forgot. Seven Black Line Commemorative Tokens. So that's seven gold that I wasted today. Hold on. I moved my inventory. There it is. Forgot about those. I'm all over the place. We haven't done one of these in forever. I'm rusty AF. Let's do a guaranteed armor unlock. The Etherbound Gauntlets. Etherbound Gauntlets. Gosh, I didn't know this mountain was in here today. I did not spell it right or something, but the wiki says it does not exist. They need to loosen up the wiki, in all honesty. Um, the Etherbound Gauntlets. Yeah, what were these? How much were these? 500 gems! Okay. Uh, next. The Elonian Elementalist Outfit. Elonian Elementalist Outfit. Yeah, that's what, 700 gems? It was 700 gems? That's 1,200 gems worth of stuff. The Mini Green Choya. Ooh, that might not be good. Mini Green Choya. It's a hundred trade contracts somewhere in Alona. So that hurts. I don't know why that didn't pop up. I was going through that stuff. And a defiant glass sword. Three out of the 16. Defiant glass sword. Um, 22 gold. Not the best. Not the best for sure. On all of that stuff. All right, let's open these glorified trick-or-treat bags. I'm gonna have a bunch of stuff that came out there. Um, I got one exotic weapon here, Grim Pact, which I don't think has a lot of value. Um, but we got a bunch of liquid gold. Yeah, that didn't have a lot of value. Let me check any of these dies if they had extreme value. Couple gold there. The staff skins, not worth a whole lot. Uh, even the Darkwing skin's not worth a whole lot, but I got nothing in here really to, to liquefy for gold. Um, I don't see any other drops that came from those bags. A pillowcase is worth almost nothing, if not nothing. So, just not doing well in the trick-or-treat bag so far this year, so I'm not surprised by this at all. Um... So, getting to that point, that question, um, down here we got 22, 22, 12, 40, and 2. What I can do is, we got, we're at 451 gold, quick sell, 557 gold. So about 100 and, 100 and something gold there, 105 gold-ish um, of stuff. I can actually look right here and see all the stuff we sold from the black line chest. So 100 gold, not bad. Um, 1,600 gems from the mount, 1,200 from the, the wardrobe, but that wasn't directly related to the black line chest. Um, so I gotta sort of toss that out. I just wanted to record it, see if we got lucky with that. Not really. Um, the armor, the armor unlock was, so. Um, that was 500 gems, 2100 gems. We got some skins here. We got some tickets, some primers that I needed. Overall, was it worth it? Meh. I mean, we got 56 statuettes as well. We got the other uncommon, the uh, Seven Reapers Helm. They're, they're exclusive items, but I think I think it was worth it just because I got the mount. Had I not gotten the mount. I may have used that last key just just to see. Um, 
but it wouldn't have been really worth it, in my opinion. I don't think I, I got enough out of these to justify anything because the skins are so cheap. Had there been more expensive skins in the second, in the rare thing, and I rolled a couple of those and they were like 60, maybe it would have been even better. Or a home node, who knows. Um, but getting two out of the three uncommon items, pretty good. I uh, started with that gold key, which gave us a quick boost to that. Um, but we just didn't get enough wardrobe or armor unlocks or weapon unlocks. Those are just important. But I will say this, my luck lately in the game has been garbage. I went through all of the labyrinthine cliffs and got almost nothing good. I mean, I got like four rare gloves and I think that was it. I mean, it's just been a bad roll since the summer. Um, I just haven't been able to get a lot of good rolls in the sense of that kind of stuff. Um, I've opened up maybe 600 trick-or-treat bags today. At least 600 trick-or-treat bags. Nothing really good came out of them. A bunch of the junk. Um, no exotic weapons. None of that. A scent of madness only gave me that. So I don't know what's going on, but... The, these 50 chests here did not produce enough for me um, to feel ecstatic, but I did want that mount. So, used 25 keys earlier and didn't get them out. I just feel like the drop rates are just bad right now. It's feel that way. But is it true? No, it's RNG. Um, but remember, limit yourself, understand the worth of your keys. Um, the only reason I kept going is because we didn't get the greaves. Uh, or whatever. If we didn't get the boots, if we got the boots and the helm, and I would have stopped right as soon as I got the that um, four claw skin. Uh, but since I didn't get all the uncommon items, I usually go for the full 50 chest, uh, 50 keys, whatever. Um, but then I stop. If I don't get it, I don't get it. You know, maybe some other day, some other chance. But I did get that war claw skin, and I'm excited to use that world versus world, especially with alliances coming. Ah oh, man, it's gonna be nice. Um, but that's it. I'm going to go ahead and stop rambling here. Get into Halloween. Do your farming. I hope you have better luck if you're going to open up some chest here. Uh, the liquid gold was pretty nice. Um, the farming is fantastic this year. There's new achievements. What else is happening in this game right now? There's all sorts of stuff. Get in. Just get it done. All right. I'm going to go back to the game now. Sort of. Bye. <laughs>